boys and girls, what a good-looking group of boys and girls up here. And y'all did so good with your singing this morning. That was awesome. Boys and girls, today is Super Bowl Sunday. Yay! Do y'all know who's playing? I always thought the Super Bowl was when I got my really big bowl for my Briar's Mint Chocolate Chip Ice Cream. That's what I thought a Super Bowl was. Boys and girls, the Super Bowl has a lot in common. especially in our Christian walk. So I made some footballs to kind of tell you some things really quickly about what, what's going on. First of all, there's rules. You know, there's, if you know anything about football, and I know some of you guys do, and especially your, guy, your, your parents, your dads do, but there's 10 yards. Well, boys and girls, in life, there's, the Bible gives us 10 commandments. And sometimes we get outside of those 10 yards when we're trying, but that's the goal is to go get 10 yards so that we can score, so that we can win the game. Well, the 10 commandments, sometimes we get outside of the 10 commandments, but that's our goal is to keep up with those rules. The second thing is the time. You know, you have four quarters and the ball game is over. Well, boys and girls, in our Christian walk, we don't know when life's over. God never promises us tomorrow. So we've got to do everything we can in life today so that we have enough time while God has us here on this earth. The next thing is our training. Boys and girls, do y'all think somebody in as poor shape as I am could get out there on the football field with those big old guys and play football? No. But these boys train. They get strong. They they lift weights and they run and they hit things so that they can get strong. They do training. Well, boys and girls, we need to train for God. And those, that training includes reading our Bible, coming to church, praying. We have to do things to train, too. The next thing is our gear. Those football players, you will not see any of them out there unless they have a helmet and these big old shoulder pads on. They have pads in their legs. They have pads everywhere to keep them from getting hurt. Well, the Bible tells us that we need to wear the, the armor of God. We need to put on our armor so that we are strong to resist the enemy, and that enemy, that opposing team, is Satan. The next thing is our goal. <clears throat> the, boy, the, the guys on the Super Bowl, they run toward that goal, and our goal is Jesus Christ. And boys and girls, every day we need to run to strive to get to that goal of doing and being like Jesus Christ. The next thing is the team. You know, they fumble in football, and you get hit in football. Have y'all ever watched a football game where somebody gets really hit really bad? Well, that happens to us in life. I've had lots of obstacles in my life that has knocked me one way or knocked me the other way. But boys and girls, we're on a team of Christ. And I look around this church, and I know if I needed anything, I've got a team right here of Christian friends who's going to help me and, and have my back, just like all the team members are looking out for the others. The final thing that we have is the prize. Boys and girls, the boys who win the Super Bowl tonight will get a big prize. They'll get rings, and they'll get this big old trophy. Well, boys and girls, in life, our prize is seeing Jesus. Our prize is eternal life. Boys and girls, we may not ever participate in the Super Bowl, but boys and girls, every day we're in the, in the ball game of life. Let's walk real quietly up to Children's Church. Walk really quietly. <laughs> 